Today, we are going to eat at the worst rated restaurants in our city for 24 hours. That means every meal is going to be at a different restaurant that is rated very poorly. And I know that we're late to this trend, but you guys should still like the video because honestly, this is kind of scary. You're paying money for food that might be bad or service that might be bad. And who wants to do that? Hey, one star fast food, one star restaurants, one star poop in your food. This is gonna be so gross because just imagine why are these places rated so low? Is the food burnt? Is it dry? Is it crusty? Did people find bones in their food? Eyeballs? Bandages? One time I found a sticker in one of my McChickens and that was traumatizing. See, there's a lot of things that could go horribly wrong and that's why it's fun. So if you're excited, hit that like button because we could get salmonella and die. You said salmonella weird. Salmonella. 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 One second, there's a little baby in here. She needs attention. Hello, Bubba's. Oh. Oh, they're, they're dogs. There are dogs. There are dogs. But they don't get to come with us for eating human food. If this was one star dog food, they'd love it either way. They'd love it either way. For this video, we're gonna be using Yelp. I happen to be a Yelp Elite 2019, which means I have written quite a few reviews and posted pictures, and I am respected in the Yelp community. Yes, I'm one of those people. She's like a professional critic. I'm a professional critic, but I use my power for good usually, just small disclaimer. But we're gonna be using Yelp, not sponsored, to find the lowest rated restaurants in our area. We should do fast food first. Yes, so the lowest one I'm seeing is a McDonald's, but I don't think anyone cares about that. So we're gonna keep looking and I'll get back to you. So the lowest rated fast food restaurant I could find around us is actually Whataburger, which is very disappointing to me because I actually love Whataburger. It's actually pretty disgusting, so Zach it deserves one and, and a half star. I am a true bread Texan, which I know they sold their chain uh, business stuff, but I really like it and I don't know why it's one and a half stars. Yeah, if you enjoy meat that tastes like dog and smells like dog, you'll love it. Let's read some of the reviews, okay? There has to be a reason, right? Basically, they stopped in at 8.30 at this fast food restaurant, <laughs> at this fast food restaurant and they waited for 40 minutes until they got their food. That's what Whataburger's known for, guys. It's his fresh, long taken food. Dear Lord, they should have just closed this place. Never been to a location that gets the order wrong every time. How hard is ketchup and pickle only? Just gonna go back to Burleson until my regular Whataburger location is open. So it seems like to me that this Whataburger is known for horrible service, long wait times, and sometimes cold gross food. Now I've been here once and I don't like the food. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. There's so many bad reviews. This one person says, it actually does not deserve a one star, but it's the only option I had. The eggs were so overcooked, they were like rubber. The tortilla was so dry and crumbled. The food was disgusting and cold, all caps. Do yourself a favor and stay away from this Whataburger. I'm nervous. I know it's gonna be horrible. I hate it. Can I get a number one with a medium Dr. Pepper? Uh, yes. Okay, thank you. All right, Megan, set a timer and let's see how long okay. the food takes to make. It's 551 right well, now. And to say we are second in line right now. We're third. Third. Start. I used to wait here a long time for food, but it's usually pretty good. We got it with everything. Yeah. We got the number one, which must be their classic because it's number one. Mm -hmm. And we got it with everything that it comes with. There are hamburgers and then there are hamburgers. Like the kind you get it, Whataburger. I'm nervous about the wait time because I know it's gonna be annoying and bad and I know by the end of it we're gonna be like, ugh. And their burgers are big and gross and disgusting. They're made of like big chun I've chun never chun. seen someone care about how big their burger is. He it's cares. so big and disgusting. Zach the first time I got so it, I had much. two hairs in my burger. Like Zach is like, They're like beard hair. Zach keeps on saying Texans are brainwashed for liking this, but he hates it so much that you would think somebody brainwashed Everyone him in the South to smear campaign Everyone water in the burger. South loves Chick-fil-A and they love Whataburger. It's like, okay, get over it. It's like Zach's trying to like make everybody on our own channels hate us or something, so. <laughs> Four minutes get your and wallet. 39 oh, seconds. God. I hope my cup is loaded with soda <laughs> on the outside. Mm. <laughs> Zach, <never done. laughs> Yep. Thank you. You too. 
Initial thoughts. Um, well, the oh, lady's really smells nice. smells bad. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. It's gonna make me want to throw up a little. I love Whataburger. I mean, like, I mean, it's just... It smells like actual, like, cow cut in half. Yeah, one of those... Oh, dude, that's exactly what it tastes like. <laughs> it's or dog. Things. It's kind of one of those things that you just have to, like, just do it, you know? Like Shia LaBeouf. Just do it! I mean, so, do they put ketchup on this? I don't think they do. No, they put mustard oh. on it. All right, Zach, I want you to take a bite, and Wait, I want you to be wait, honest. Don't, don't, yeah, put it down. Okay. Open it, let's see what's inside. Just, because like I said, one time there was a sticker in one of my foods. There's so much mustard. So, all right, there we go. There you go. Okay, so hold the wrapper just in case it gets mixed. Is that lettuce? <gasps> the lettuce is molded. That lettuce has gone bad. That's bad lettuce. Well, now I gotta look inside the burger because that's bad lettuce too. <gasps> oh my gosh, no, whatever, no. Oh, that looks gross. That's the bad lettuce. There's a couple pieces like that, which means the lettuce was in the air too long or moist too long. Oh, yeah. And the guys, mm, this was only $7, honestly. That's not too bad. All right, Zach, you take a bite first. Oh, gosh. Well, this is dangerous. You're so brave. Wait, I don't know. I don't know. Is the tomato should... bad? I don't know if we should eat it. What's Have that? Have to for science. <laughs> No napkins. No napkins. <laughs> I don't like it because it's got the taste that McDonald's gets when the burger patty's been out too long and you like. Maybe and that's what's weird. Why would why would the lettuce even be that bad? It's supposed to be fresh. That's why we wait six or seven minutes. What I will say is I will murder for their fountain sodas because you know some places like Taco Bell has the worst fountain sodas. Pan Express really bad as well. They don't. Taco like Bell does right. not have the worst fountain soda. The Baja yeah. Blast. Can't no, but that. like that's yeah, their original it, drink. Uh, and you compare Dr. Pepper's across the board. Whataburger at McDonald's have the best. It's good. Now this is a place I've never been, I've never even really heard of it. It's called Furs Fresh Buffet. I'm, I'm gonna go in with a clean mind, open slate, never been here before, never had any bad experiences, but this place has a two star rating, so. Yes, there's actually a lot of really negative reviews. This one says, horrible food, service was decent at best. If you like everything tasting like salt, this is your place. Eh? Even the made goods tasted salty. The ribs were as dry as jerky, never coming here again. Well, see, okay, Tyson read one review online, our cameraman. He said that it smells like wet dog when you go inside, which that's something you really want to smell when you're eating food. There is a lot of people here. Like, there's, yeah. it's legitimately packed. It's a Saturday, okay, but it's busy. Okay, so on the bright side, I guess there's Wi-Fi. This review says, the restaurant here is terrible food. The food tastes bland, no seasoning, and it's worse than eating cafeteria school food. Even the fries taste bad, and you really can't mess up french fries. The reason I gave this review one star is for their Wi-Fi. Worst buffet. That sounds disgusting and terrible, but if this place is $10 or under, I'm expecting a little bit of terrible, because all you can Do eat for $10? Do we know how much it is? I don't know, but I'm just saying, if it is $10 or under, you have to accept some bad food. All your favorite entrees, vegetables, salads, and desserts. All you can eat for just $3.99 at lunch, $4.99 at dinner, and all day Saturday. This is three, right? Yes, ma'am. The buffet part says you've got a lot of good eating ahead of you. The fresh part says it's straight from our kitchen. I will give them this. Their booths are fat person friendly. As they a big are. guy, I can sit in the booth. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh wait, where's the bone? Oh, okay. Okay. There was some like there was like a booth up there. Like a, they had all their food in little like I guess separate carts. I don't know. But one of the carts smelled really weird, and it was a cart with like this muffin and all that. It like. It is, I don't know, it's like, everything was getting cleaned. They had like three or four people cleaning, so that's good. What I would say is this just looks like cheap food, and that's what it is, looks $12. I got blue jello, which I'm kind of excited about, but I also know this is like the side of a cheap buffet is jello. But also I got broccoli, and it's it's not fresh. You can tell it's really good. There's no way that this right here is steak. Well, what is it? Salisbury steak? Yeah, I would put it like that. Like you got this from a microwave tray mm -hmm. that's a steak on it. Oh, like a TV dinner. I wouldn't recommend the meat. So we're just leaving first, and I have a lot of thoughts. Uh, first initial thought we walked in, somebody was picking their teeth. It was really gross. Tyson said a lot of people were staring at me. Um, cleanliness was an all-time zero. There was like stuff smeared all over the like the food places. But the service was really nice. Our server was really sweet, but the food cleanliness and the freshness was a. Uh... They were cleaning things up, but I think they were using the same rig 
for everything. everything. Yeah, yeah, they did. I saw her. It smelled like dirty rag water in some spots. I, I mean, honestly, for 12 bucks, it's definitely a three star. I ate some of the meat and I ate some of the broccoli, which the broccoli and the sweet potatoes were old, you could tell. And my stomach is like twisting and not, so I couldn't eat the rest. But their desserts were really good from what I had. Our final and last stop of the night is Dairy Queen, which has a one and a half star. Now, Zach says that Dairy Queens are really good up in the north, but I've told him many times that Dairy Queens in the south do not have the same TLC that is required for food service. Well, you can even see here where there's windows and it should be something beautiful to look at. It's just a big room of boxes. One time we went into a Dairy Queen here in the south. There was five people working there on their phones, not looking at us. And the kitchen had flies all in it and grease all over the floor. I couldn't eat there. I refused. I was, I was a kid too. And I was like, I'm not doing it. So this is technically dessert, but I think we'll have to get one food item and then some dessert just to see what it's all about. I guess I just haven't learned my lesson. Went to DQ tonight because I was craving a hot dog. Got home, took a bite, and noticed it tasted funny. Turned out, I found mold on the bun. So not only is it overpriced, but the food is moldy. Lesson learned, I will never go there again. They also left a review before that one that said, not sure why I chose to try them again. So this person is a repeat offender. He keeps on coming back and he's not enjoying it. Not sure why I chose to try them again. Big mistake, ordered a taco trio special. Got home and they fell apart. This is a turtle mess, avoid this location. This guy sounds like an idiot. Why would you go to a burger place to get tacos? <laughs> I've had tacos? experiences multiple times. Yeah, I've had horrible experiences three times, wrote reviews about him, and I'm still going to come back. He keeps coming back. Hey, can I get a hot dog? We don't have hot dogs here anymore. Oh, okay. Um, can I get your, um, the three tacos? And then can I get a small harvest berry pie? And then a small hot fudge sundae? All right, so maybe that guy did actually do some good stuff. He got them to get rid of they the hot don't dogs. They don't hot dogs anymore. because that guy's review was really bad on their brand. <laughs> In the land of Dairy Queen. It's the Blizzard Flavor Treat. So rich, so thick, you gotta spoon it up. The Blizzard, only at Dairy Queen. The original you never forget. We treat you right. None of the employees were wearing gloves that we noticed. The chef was wearing gloves, but only one. Yeah, but the man handing us his ice cream well, didn't, but like this, none of this is like parts that we're eating, but I still just don't know about it. Cause in fast food, they don't like at McDonald's, they're also not wearing gloves because it's just the fast food industry. This is a handicap spot. I know, I'm backing in. Oh. <laughs> okay, so here's the hot That's fudge so sundae. That's so pretty. You can't really mess this up because it's just ice cream and hot fudge. Like I can make this at home. You could make it look like that. No, that looks nice. Oh. The ice cream's 10 out of 10. You can't mess up ice cream. I'm a big believer that you can't mess up ice cream. This is nice. I like the berries. I'm a fruit person, so. So this is how this box came to us. It's kind of greasy all on top and crumpled. This one looks better though. Ooh. All right, let's have Megan try hers first. Megan, let's see what you got. I don't think I can eat them. They look a little. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> they look a little green. That's just because that's the meat underneath. You have yeah. to take a bite. You got to dip it in the gravy sauce first. <laughs> All the batter's like separating from the- This was, this was $19 for the two ice cream. Yeah, I just- Ew, don't do that. You don't <laughs> want to know what's inside. Don't peel behind the curtain, Megan. Eat it. Oh, gross. Definitely wouldn't have done that. It's one of those foods you want to mask with a bucket of gravy. No, it's not bad. It sounds really wet and spongy. Ugh, that's gross. It tastes exactly like cafeteria food. Well, out of 10 then, you said it's not bad. I mean like an eight, like I could do it again. An eight? eight. That's pretty high. I don't, what's the scale? Is the scale like- One out of 10, Megan. <laughs> Not one out of a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> well, does that work? Eight? Is that good? Oh, it's soggy. So, see, that's not that's not crunchy. Ew! Actually, I think I just poked a hole in the taco with my finger. That's not the crunch you want to hear when eating a. The whole bottom just fell out. <laughs> oh no! Wow. Now it's a taco salad. They seasoned that meat with something good, though. That is delicious. Oh, 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 oh. Well, guys, that was them eating food for 24 hours. <laughs> places in our area, which honestly, some of them shocked us. Some of them were actually really bad and I will not be returning. But you know, teach their own. If you love these restaurants, don't hate us because everywhere is different. Tyson ate here too. Don't let him think that he didn't eat. He I didn't ate. eat. You ate that at the buffet. I had two for science. Two servings. Hey. You got seconds. They only saw the he one. go back for a second. <laughs> Just for the potatoes, Zach. Talking about the potatoes like they were the best. No, then you ate a whole bun and. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.